मैं कमिंग सर्स हाँ कम कम हाँ गुड गुड सिडाउन सुभम शुक्ल थैंक यू सर यू कैन अनबटन योर कोट बी कंफर्टेबल हाँ थैंक यू सर यू आर फ्रॉम बिहार ईस चंपारण इंस्टिट्यूट और बी इज इन विच सब्जेक्ट सो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंजीनियरिंग सर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आई वाज बोर्न इन बिहार सर हाँ गुड गुड now uh, this question i am not going to ask you because i think it has been asked number of times the champaran champaran satyagraha you yes, know sir. what it is <laughs> <laughs> champaran ke bare mein bataiye sir is champaran mein hua tha ya west champaran mein ya tab ek hi champaran it was a unified champaran district unified champaran district sir when satyagraha took place yes sir acha good very quickly uh, your thing is manufacturing yes it? sir yes sir acha acha good so you studied humanities also in that yes what sir. subjects so we had a couple of course we ha- we were mandated to take a couple of courses in our engineering degree from Which the humanities one did department you take? i took cross cultural skills huh. and language lab huh. and uh, public speaking nothing of economics no so uh, economics was a different uh, department under the Achha, sciences division sir. okay no because you are written humanities i thought okay but do you know a bit of economics a basic sir basic okay then very basic i love what is the difference between micro and macro economics so macro economics operates at a country or at country level which you call it the macro level sir whereas micro economics operates as a, at a firm level or at an institutional or, or an organization level sir so this is the basic difference ha yeah, basically yes good enough good you did from st james who was st james so st james is one of the pioneer saints of christianity hmm. he is suppo- he is supposed to be the third descendant of a um, very renowned christian saint a direct follower of jesus i cannot recall the name right now and he was instrumental in spreading christianity to parts of the present day turkey so the hmm. earliest pu- push of christianity towards turkey was by st james is oh very good you are from bits pilani So they have another institute somewhere else also. Uh, Bits. Uh, yes, sir. The Bits Pilani. Bihar, Bihar also. That is BIT. That is BIT, Mr. Yeah, sir. Yeah, BIT. Ha, Jharkhand. And yes. Bits Pilani has a couple of other camp campuses at other Abroad places. Abroad also, no? Yeah, one in Dubai Abroad. and. Ha. In India. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One in Goa and one in Hyderabad. One in Hyderabad also, yes, no? But the main thing is Pilani. Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm. Tell me about Pilani. Is there anything more important to know about Pilani? Are only this Birla Institute? So Pilani is an educational town. Mm. It is the town which is centered ar- ar- around Bits Pilani. The excluding the students, the population of the town is under one thousand. Okay. And the town isn't its hazard. It doesn't have the best of facilities that any average metropolitan city would have. But it's a good place. It's a calm, quiet place, sir. And the campus is good. It's a beautiful campus. I've been sir. there once. Yeah, very good. Okay. <clears throat> You play football, yes, sir. As a goalkeeper, goalkeeper is my preferred position, sir. But I also <laughs> I was just joking to provoke you. Okay. But I also <laughs> play as a right back, like right back, yes, sir. Because in goalkeeper you don't run really; you only jump and <laughs> dive right side or left side within the poles. Sir, uh, my it? reflexes, which I had de- developed from my years of kickboxing, actually helped me in goalkeeping, sir. Oh, kickboxing so that's, that's, also. Yes, sir. What is good about kickbox? Uh, kickboxing. So the biggest thing mm. that I learned about from kickboxing is self-discipline, sir. Self-discipline. Yes, sir. But then it depends upon your height also. If you are a very much. short fellow, <laughs> kickboxing you will receive more than what you can give. True, sir. But at the same time, <laughs> we can say that often it is not about the size of the lion in the fight, but the size of the fight in the lion. Ah, great! Now let's talk about uh, yes, Russia and Ukraine. Yes, sir. Okay, not size of the land. Eh? Yes, sir. Now, what do you say? Which one is bigger in size, sir. Ukraine or Russia? Sir, Russia is bigger in size and might, sir. Might also. Yes, sir. So Ukraine stands no chance. No, sir. It's Ukraine has put up a very strong resistance and what recent yesterday something happened. Yes, sir. A very big for Ukraine. What was that? A very b- a major Russian ship. Hmm. Like it, it was actually sunk in the sea. Yeah. Seas of, so. It carried all sorts of missiles. Yes, sir. Destroyed. Yes, sir. But don't you think it will lead to some escalation of war in war? 
Definitely, sir. In fact, mm. uh, the Russian state media has also proclaimed that sinking of the missile as the advent of the Third World War. So, this can be a, a flashpoint, and things can go worse from this. But as an optimist, I would hope that things do not go bad. Okay, good. Now, as far as India is concerned, so are we a loser or a gainer <clears throat> with respect to the crisis, sir? Think for a minute. Now, with respect to this war, at the end of the day. Are we in a better position? The world recognizes us in a better term, and economically, are we better off or worse off? So I would divide my analysis into two parts: one uh -huh. the short term, the long term. Okay. In the short term, we would see India facing certain economic difficulties, uh, mainly because what oil difficulty? oil would be one of them. But oil, we get hardly three percent from Russia. Yes, sir. But then there Others is always. Are willing to give us more oil. Yes, sir. We are. We can get. Uh, or we are. Like Russia has offered us oil and at discount, but at the same time, sir, the global oil market might also inflate its prices, which could have a very no, significant. No, it will bearing. come down. It's a temporary. But how about export? We are exporting wheat. Yes, sir. Egypt wants a big quantity. Yes, sir. So the so traditionally Ukraine and uh, Russia they were supplying. So yes, sir. This is an opportunity, market, no? sir. Which will like, for example, the Russia and Ukraine being major wheat bowls of the world, sir. So India can stand a chance of. Integrating itself in the wheat supply chain, and apart from that, sir, the world actually is looking at India from a very dip strong diplomatic and a, po a political perspective, sir. No, there we again, have you see even the Americans recognize now they have mellowed down. Yes, sir. Like hmm. they tried to yeah. posture a stand against us, but then we managed our rebuttal very firm rebuttal on that, sir. So it's a sad thing, but then on reflection, <laughs> I think we are better off. <laughs> yes, sir. Definitely, sir. But. The sooner the war, if this crisis comes to an end, the better it is no, for all of us. No, that of course for everybody. Yes, you know, this, uh, nobody will uh, uh, can appreciate this. Yes, humanity, people getting killed and the property is being destroyed. The old town is gone. You know, Ukraine. Yes, uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Now, for engineering students, don't go abroad that much. While for doctors, people go to Ukraine and China and Mauritius and what not. Why is this? We have enough. Engineering colleges in India, sir. So, India has way too much engineering colleges. Way like, too much. In fact, there are many colleges so which are, are actually. If your advice is asked, you will suggest closing down of some institutions. So I would suggest merging of institutions, so that there are many institutions which are running at very low capacity. So by when by merging institutions, we can actually help pool resources, laboratories, and faculties. So this can be one step, sir. And then further, like for some, for let's say for five or ten years, no affiliation should be guaranteed uh, granted to new engineering colleges. So this is one step that can be taken, in my opinion, sir. Why are you specifically mentioning Barcelona in football, sir? There are two reasons to this, hmm. sir. First of all, the it was told to us that whatever we have it to fill. It was told to you by whom? No, no sir. It no. Hmm. no not about this football club sir it was told us whatever we have to fill in the application form it must be filled very honestly so uh, whatever it was asked about my interest and i was interested in that football and football in that football club in particular so i filled it very honestly barcelona. sir barcelona yes sir and the second thing is that the hmm. club football club barcelona has a very attractive football philosophy that i like and as being a, and having played football at college level sir i feel that that philosophy actually resonates with me so good There is one state in the northeast. Yes, sir. They are very good in football. Yes, Can sir. Can you name that state in the northeast of India? Sir, Meghalaya is a good state. So it Dina. has. Then Mizoram. Manipur. 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 Sir. They are very good in football. Yes, I'll be. Okay, uh, Mr. Shubham. Sir, Shubham means. Shubham means auspicious. Auspicious. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> okay. So related to PSIR. Yes, sir. Is. UNSC fulfilling its primary objective under Article Twenty Six. So, first of all, you tell me what is Article Twenty Six, and then answer the question: Is UNSC, United Nations Security Council, fulfilling its primary objective under Article Twenty Six? So, I cannot recall the exact what. Is. Okay, the, that that I tell you that is pro disarmament sentiments. it reflects pro disarmament sentiments now you tell me so to a very fair extent the unsc and the global nations have managed to 
have a fair degree of disarmament there have been certain ex exceptions like countries like there are acquisitions like countries like iran and then we see north korea that are flouting the disarmament movements and disarmament mandate but overall with respect to majority of the countries in, in the globally or under the unsc or the un general assembly countries have had managed to like keep disarmament especially in the field of nuclear disarmament at an as a policy option sir so, so yes or no answer yes or no is unsc fulfilling its primary objective under article 26 so i would actually go with yes sir eh? yes yes. Eh? yes yes sir now it is also it would be difficult to actually say so because okay. uh, so uh, gandhi ji contest uh, gandhi ji pleaded his case himself related with champa ran satyagraha in which court i am unaware about it sir motihari court motihari court is uh, champaran uh, district uh, court yes sir motihari anyway have you ever gone to tiger project in west champaran district no sir the only time i have been to like champaran was at time of my birth sir oh oh and after that so i do not hail from champaran sir champa like uh, raksol is the place of my birth sir yeah raksol uh, there is adjoining nepal yes sir uh -huh. it's an important transit point between india and nepal sir okay so honorable prime minister of nepal visited our country recently yes sir okay which issues were discussed so cross border movement and infrastructure projects and uh, the cultural and civilizational ties which india shares with nepal it was revoked by our honorable prime minister okay. with his in his meeting mm -hmm. and then related with connectivity and connectivity, energy sir. what yes. was that so i do not remember the name of the project sir but then this was an important feature of the talk, rail sir. link rail link between which place to which place sir Jay jayanagar to I do not remember the other part of it, sir. Okay, uh, so you have bicameral legislature in your state. Your state is Bihar. You are having bicameral legislature, is it? Yes, sir. So how many other states are having bicameral le legislature? You know bicameral. Yes, legislature? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Please tell me. So how many other states are there having bicameral legislature? So, including Bihar, eight states had black No, bi including Bihar, six. So, which are five more? So, UP, UP is yeah. one of them. Maharashtra. Maharashtra, that's right. Uh, in South? Tamil Nadu. No. I'm not sure. Then Karnataka. Karnataka, yes. And Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Now, my question here is whether at all bicameral legislature is required. If it is required, then why should not be it not be in other states? If it is not required, if it is redundant, then why should we have bicameral legislature? Because it is only in six states. Yes, okay? sir. Yes, sir. And in rest of the state, there is unicameral yes. legislature. My question is whether at all it is required to have this legislative council. If it is required, then why should it not be there in other states? If it is not required, then why? If it is redundant, then why should we have bicameral legislature? So there are both pros and cons to having a bicameral legislature, sir. So mm -hmm. if I were to analyze the pros, sir, yeah, pros. it would just bullet point. Huh? Yes, sir. Not it would clear. act yeah. as an extra layer of check on the activities of the ruling yeah. government, mm -hmm. and it would provide an avenue for those eminent personalities who are unable to face an election, mm -hmm. but they get a chance mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. a part in the mm -hmm. government, sir. Mm -hmm. And if we're talking about cons, sir, it increases the size of the government mm -hmm. and is very much and the additional, very much additional expenditure is in, incurred in running and maintaining. Mm -hmm. And of often the powers accorded to the legislative council is way less than the powers accorded to the legislative assembly. So it's more of a safety wall than a put stop, sir. So what will be your conclusion if I ask about your opinion whether at all it should be there? Sir, I'm of the opinion that it's upon the like the purgative of the states to decide. Like, if there's a state that actually needs an extra level of deliberation <coughs> on it, so that is something that the states. Okay, what is so. quad? Quad. Q U A D. Quad. Q U A D. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. So, quad is a political alliances of four countries. Yeah, and name them. Uh, sir, India, Australia, Japan, and United States of America. Uh, what for? So, for the aim of the 
organization is to promote free fair and open indo indo pacific sir so it's the, just say again uh, yeah, free yeah. fair and open indo pacific related with this type of issues indo pacific so trade connectivity and investments however there are certain experts who have called it as an organized grouping which counters to counter the rise of an aggressive china so of a rules based order in the indian mm -hmm. ocean region sir anyway 2 plus 2 diplomacy when yes. we started 2 plus 2 diplomacy nowadays it is uh, very much talked about nowadays yes, particularly sir. past say one month or two months but when did we start this 2 plus 2 diplomacy i am sorry sir i'm unable anyway to recently another question recently uh, is there any um, uh, dialogue between two countries between two heads of the government before this 2 plus 2 diplomacy first dialogues were held between two heads of the government yes, sir. and then 2 plus 2 diplomacy is there any instance if i remember reading it about in the newspaper it was between our honorable pm modi and the united states president mr joe biden and after that yeah you are right yeah, and after that was that 2 plus 2 diplomacy that meeting was held yes sir it was so is it a right step that first uh, heads of the state heads 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 of the heads of the two countries have de decided any matter <clears throat> and after that 2 plus 2 diplomacy it is in the right direction 2 plus 2 diplomacy who who to so india sends its Defense external affairs minister and, and external affairs external minister. affairs minister yes sir so in this case what happened that first of all heads of the government president biden and honorable prime minister mr modi yes sir they met they discussed the issue yes, and sir. after that 2 plus 2 diplomacy was held so is it a right step then what is the use of 2 plus 2 diplomacy if a matter has been decided at the higher level that the heads of the government yes sir then having 2 plus 2 diplomacy is it is it of any use sir i believe that usually in the general courses it's the first the 2 plus 2 diplomacy and then the heads of the state meeting to finalize the every aspects however sir under, under certain special circumstances when the heads of the state agree to a general program of action then the 2 plus 2 diplomacy can be pursued so that the fine nitty gritties of the so that program will be only to pursue that that will not yes sir know? yes sir you want to say that okay thank you thank you sir so vam so your subject is political science international affairs <coughs> and this thing yes sir so if you want to prove yourself that you are an indian citizen how will you do it if i say you are not an indian citizen you have to prove it how to go about it sir i'll take my birth certificate sir hmm. i'll show the place of my birth and i'll show that my parents have been citizens of india hmm. so that is the biggest proof of citizenship that i carry with me sir and citizen citizenship where it is defined so it's defined in the constitution sir which article so i cannot recall the article but if you allow me to take a guess ah, sir yes, yes. it would be article 3 sir hmm. how does it define ki who is the citizen of this country sir i cannot recall the exact definition okay, okay, sir okay then then article 14 what is article 14 so equality before law so equality before law so how will you what are the various ingredients of this article important bullet points of this article so the key bullet points will include the equality before law in the, the article talks about equality before law how law how all citizens of india are to be treated equally respect of the race caste creed gender and other hmm. pa parameters sir and equality before law as pointed out in a, in a supreme court judgment also encompasses equal protection of the law sir mm. and this is these are the key points that i can recall right now sir and what is the eighth schedule of the indian constitution <clears throat> sir eighth schedule relates to the of languages of the constitution or languages of the union sir mm. there are 22 languages that have been placed in the eighth schedule and so what is the basically raj bhasha Yes, Raj Bhasha means ki language of the state. Yes, sir. Which will be the language of the state? 
so as for my knowledge goes sir india does not have an official language of the state sir however for parliamentary activities hindi has been used in consonance with english and english has been used english has been used as a medium of communication between states which do not have hindi as their language as in as a native language sir mm. however there are states that have uh, from the hindi heartland or, the, or states with hindi language as the native languages that have been allowed to use hindi to communicate with other similar states sir mm. so in west bengal there was a very historical importance battle of plassey yes sir mm. so what was the battle of plassey who were there and the consequences of that battle on the fate of the country so the battle of palasi was fought in 1757 mm. between the english east india company led by robert clive and the the nawab of bengal sirajuddaulah and the battle marked the defeat of the bengal nawab of bengal and it marked the turning point of the future of this country as this was the first major battle that the british had won in bengal and bengal was significantly bought and the first major battle which the british won and mm. had at the same time bought a significant amount of political control over the province sir. and this battle was further solidified by the 1764 battle of baksar sir so why they lost the battle what were their reasons so the biggest reason was the treachery of mir jafar mm. which was like he pulled out a consignment of 20000 troops from away from the nawab's army and brought it to the army of east india company and the company awarded him by making him the new nawab of bengal so so when was the what the timing of the battle was so 1757 sir and the timing of the battle of panipat so 1761 if i'm not wrong hmm three battles of panipat yes yeah, so the third battle of panipat was in 1761 three same and what was the cause of the uh, losing the third battle of panipat so the marathas lost to the uh, to the foreign invader ahmad shah abdali in the third battle of panipat the biggest reason why marathas lost this battle was maratha have, the maratha rule under with its choth and the sardeshmukhi taxes had antagonized a lot of indian rulers the six the rajputs and they did not actually aid the marathas and the amh abdali with its superior arsenal and superior fighting techniques was able to outmaneuver the maratha army at the third battle of panipat sir mm. okay right mm. so shubham sir you studied in international school yes sir you have offered international relations yes sir but then you prefer police to foreign service <coughs> yes sir i find it rather anomalous do you see any anything anomalous there so i i'm of the opinion that the my reason for choosing ips over ifs mm. was mainly because the fact that i am of the opinion mm. that for any society to progress for any country to progress mm. or to grow and to provide its with its citizens adequate standards of living we mm. need a very stable and secure society sir mm. and policing does this policing we see as, as in a conventional role of security law and order but mm. it encompasses more than that sir mm. so this is my vision that propelled me to choose ips or ifs at the same time i would like to the panel to know that ifs being a very distinguished service it would be an it would be an amazing opportunity if i was to be selected for the ifs sir so this is a reason why sir yeah, but you you not answer my question shibham i said why, why do you prefer ips over ifs so because i believe that law and order is very important and being an so foreign I, relations are not important no sir i never intended to say that sir oh. i believe that foreign relations are very important sir hmm. but my preference for ips or ifs stems from the fact that i can actually contribute a lot in the policing services hmm. in the by being in the country sir by working in the ground level sir so this is my vision why i chose ips over ifs I thought you prefer uniform service where you wear uniform. No, <laughs> sir. I I I'd be very much pleased if I get any service in that list. Uh, any service, Andaman Nicobar Group B. Sir, 
Good. So you, I have no I have no issues have with <laughs> I have no issues with working because no good good. Uh, what is yeah, plogging? Your interest is plogging. Yes, sir. Mm. So plogging is an activity which combines jogging with picking up litter, sir. Picking up litter. Okay. Sir, I, I, I'm good. Very good. Huh? I'm good. good. Uh, we won't, you know, you are very good. Your level of confidence, the way you yes, stick to your point, yes, the way you answer is amazing. Very good. Thank you, sir. Maintain the same tempo. Don't worry. Huh? You will make it. Thank you, sir. Now, do a bit of reading, you know. Uh, Can I take uh, the notepad? and? Uh -huh. it, it is kept for you only. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's facing you, not us. <clears throat> One thing is about your own state, Bihar. There can be any number of questions. So, I would West like to inter interrupt, sir. Mm -hmm. sir oh, I have West Bengal, sorry. Sir, West Bengal is my like, okay, home okay. state. Sir. Okay. 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 I, I'll pre I haven't because prepared about Bihar in that yet, sir. Stuck in Champaran. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it, sir. I'll work a little more better on it. No, but know a bit about Bihar. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah, not to at length, but still a bit about Bihar, you mm. should know. Yes, sir. Mm, yes. Huh? Mm. Of course, about Bengal, uh, there can be any very many questions. Yes, sir. On that. Uh, but then some statistics part one. Who is the governor of Bengal? Sir. On, uh, the governor of Bengal is Mr. Jagdeep Dankar, sir. Hmm. Why there is constant friction between CM and governor? Sir, the constant friction between the CM and governor is not unique to Bengal, sir. No, no. However, no, no, let's stick to Bengal. Sir, it's because of the it's nature of the policy. All right. But yes, it sir. does not mean we should avoid the question. So, it's because of the, a couple of reasons, sir. One is the nature of political competition in the country, wherein the ruling party, if it differs in centre and at the state, so there's a system of frictional federalism. So, this actually, and governor being an important part. So, but this governor are not supposed to be neutral. He can't be affiliated to any party. Ideally, sir, that should be neutral. So, that has also been prepared. Like, so, the government servant. You know, we are supposed to be neutral. Yes, sir. Huh, and then there's the, there's, there are certain <laughs> flaws with the present uh, institution of governor, sir. For example, about the like about the process of removal, the security of tenure. This has also been outlined by the Sarkaria Commission and by yeah, Rajman. Know no, a bit about Sarkaria Commission. Huh? Good. Your uh, fascination for football is really good. And what is being done in India now? Football is emerging in India yes, in sir. a big way now. Yes, sir. So many sponsors, Super League, and all that. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, good. And uh, about West Bengal, keep track of what's happening and something may be asked around that time. And then your institute and the subject, industrial engineering. So, very good. And the latest happenings in, you know, Ukraine and all that. Uh, newspaper reading and one economic daily you must read. Business Standard or, you know, Mint or whatever. So, I am doing Times of India and Mint for the time being. Very good. Mint is there. Huh? What I mean is one economic daily, one... Times of India is very good. Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. Very good candidate, no doubt. Mm. Beat confidence, beat your honesty, analytic power and all that. Yeah. Body language, no problem. Related with your dev, starting from your name, identify the probable questions and prepare them very well. Agar jaise Bihar ka pucha, Bihar se shuruaat ho rahi hai is mein. Ye kabhi bhi nahi kehna hai, no sir, I was born there yeah. and lived there only for a few months or like that. Now, I, I, I belong to West Bengal and like that. Need not say like that. If you don't know, then no one can say that. Sorry, sir. But they don't say that. Yes, sir. Okay, right? No, no, I'm going to say a little bit. Okay, sir. No, I don't know. There may be some questions which you may not know. If you say, I am not from BR, I am from West Bengal. It will be a reflection on the member. Member has not seen properly. Which is a fact. आपका <laughs> This is the first time you are coming. Sorry. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, please. Is the first time you are 
appearing for the interview? Yes, sir. This is my first uh, interview, sir. And the first attempt also? No, sir. This no. is my fourth attempt, my fourth means, but my first interview, sir. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I was, if, I, if I'm allowed to share, mm. yeah, yeah. I... So I like committed a blunder choosing an optional sir. I took chemistry as an optional because sir, I chemistry for after graduation. Okay, first chemistry yes, change. Yes, sir. Okay, first, time, first time you have changed, is it? No, sir. I changed my optional last time around, but I missed by very like two or three marks. I missed my oh. interview call. Okay. okay. So, so two times you did, had the chemistry. Two times chemistry and this is my second time with Paul Science and Umid kar raho ki means acha hua sir. Let's. Nee, aapko aaj performance bahut acha. Very good. Thank very good. good. Thank you so much, sir. Only mm -hmm. mm -hmm. performance, but I can share my. Huh? You see, your academic uh, credentials are excellent, yes, outstanding. Sir. Yes, sir. But there could be a pro pro problem, uh, very elitist. So we, do, for want of time, we are not taking to the ground. Okay. Yes, so sir. that could be there. And uh, this is the first mock uh, interview you have done. No, sir. I have done a couple of mocks, sir. Okay. Okay. Atta, your father is still working. Yes, sir. He is still working. Sir, he is in Bridge and Roof Company, India Limited. Oh, Bridge and Roof. Okay, okay. Confidence level में कोई change जैसे ये interview दिया तीसरा चौथा या whatever it is. नहीं sir, like I I am someone who believe that I like talking to people a lot. तो मतलब I am just coming that I know that sir the I I I मैंने अपने mind में framework बना दिया कि the people I am facing or I'll be facing they have had more experience in public life than my in age and years. You know the combined so, experience of ours is more than 140. Yes sir, so, there's, so I just have to be humble, I just have to be honest. Yeah, good. So that is my approach. Baki apne end se bhai dekhi of nahi toh. Be honest, if you don't know, Baki bote na sir, jo hoi hai, jo jo raam rachi rakha. Okay, yeah, 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 ho jayega. Fine. And sir, there are a couple of things that I want to ask if I'm not like taking too much of your time, sir. Sir, quickly. To your question, like why IPS over IFS? What should have been an ideal? It's a compliment. You know, understand? Def Leo, because that means the board member. Yes, sir. It is only a mock, but but then from my point of view, it's a kind of a compliment to the candidate. Yes, sir. In other words, observing you, I thought you will be a very good candidate because you have given international, you have studied in international. A school, yes sir, and then the bits pilani, yes sir, and your optional is international relations. So, the, uh, but then, so in the scheme of things, it it takes it doesn't it fully is taking precedence over foreign relations. Yes sir, that will pose a question. There are two things, right? Yes sir. Okay. So that is a probable question. Yes because sir. Because the other member may be observing some. It may strike somebody why he is a very good candidate for Indian Foreign Service. Yes sir. No, if you are given IAS and IFS and IPS, no questions will be asked. Yes, sir. But then you put IAS, IPS, and then Indian Foreign Service. No amount of. I mean, personally, I'm not convinced. That sir. Yes, because there you are postulating as though there is a there is a clear uh, divergence between national interest or in no. No, today look at this the kind of service that your Indian Foreign, foreign Service. service for it. I mean, that is a very crucial role. In fact, all other ministers, are, including the Prime Minister, so to say, are taking a back seat. It is your foreign, the IFS man, in the 77 batch. Yes, he is taking in all fora. And he's holding his own, whether it is Chinese man or even US president sitting at the same table. And today, because rightly the cabinet is taking a back seat, it is a foreign. So, to postulate or to assume that foreign relations are something foreign, you should not commit that fallacy. Yes, yeah, I'll work. You see, he are right now. He is one man who is holding the interests of the country there. Yeah. One wrong word, one wrong pause, everything is gone. The Such a fine right. balance. And then you're right candidate for Indian Foreign Service. That's why. Sir, the mm -hmm. reason why I took preferred IPS is, sir, because my maternal uncle mm -hmm. is currently an I, IPS officer of Maharashtra Cadre, sir. So, Maharashtra and, Cadre. Yes, and like mm -hmm. he, he he has mentored me so. Like I have an affinity. I've seen him. Like maybe uh, because it because what you said was not. So you know, Maharashtra police, they sort of work there to do. <laughs> like it's in the news, sir, because of yes. some no, bad reasons. But then the everywhere. it's one of the most efficient services. Both are chalta individual. Correct. Correct. Okay. For want of time, just huh. one uh, last word. Yes, sir. But there is also a danger. Some of the members, because your cred academic credentials are so good, they may think they're a little elitist. So you, given the time. He said, I am very much with my feet on the ground, that yes, kind of sir. thing. Yes. The previous candidate was different. 
so these are the things you can work on i'll work on okay. it sir very thank good you. thank you so very much sir all the best all the keep best. up your confidence thank you thank you so much sir you will definitely go through yeah. all the best god bless you pura time utilize karna yeah. hai ha yeah. sir ipa is waiting for you yes sir yes sir thank you so much sir okay all the best thank you so much